Hello fellow cards and welcome to another edition of this peak play for Final Fantasy 13 2. It should be the last one as well. So yeah, uh, last time I was just getting to the, I guess the end boss of this demo and it's been about 58 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty long demo. I uh, should should expect you know, no less than from a Final Fantasy demo though. That is, these games are long. so. <laughs> would be surprising that if you know you ever see a Final Fantasy demo that was short. All right guys, I have upgraded all my characters that I need uh, that I'm using anyway. All my monsters are upgraded. Let's fight him. Let's fight this happy. Atlas guy. All right. Now that he's weakened from those fragments I found, let's do this. Yeah, can't take that. Oh, I'm gonna have to do my can't. Commando. Lavender yes. Commando. There we go. I need to like slow that down so I can do my TriCaster. Tri, <laughs> Tri Disaster. Yeah. Right, two Ravengers that should do the amount of damage I need. Oh man, that's uh, a little bit harder than I expected. All right, you can heal. Uh, what's his name? Sarah. Now, oh, Dread Disaster. Oh yeah, he's no match. Whoa, that's a new attack. Not as strong as the fist pounding into ground <laughs> attack. Wow, our enemy's almost dead. It's not a hard boss at all. Not to cast. Uh, okay, never mind. Quick time event, and I can't see what the quick time event is. Guess we're just finishing them off. Some weird camera angle. Oh, there we are. We're on like the bottom right and I can't see the characters. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, he's summoning something. Uh, no. He's gonna throw it at us. Oh, wow. That's not good. B. I'm on it. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. Hey. What the? How did we get here? No, look out! No. Bad, bad no. hand. <laughs> Just threw her. Oh, that's that's uh, weak smart. Spot. Ready? Do it. Wait for it. Now! And what's the other button? Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dead. Perfect! Yay! It's like the third or second perfect I got. Sweet. Ah, four. Darn it. Last time I actually fought this guy it was like a five star. Ah, uh, I got. I got worse. Cinematic bonus. Got a fragment crystal and a lot of bolts. Ten bolts. Potent bolts. Alright, we should probably conclude our peak play for Final Fantasy XIII. Two. Let's find out what happens to this big guy first. Paradox is dissipating. Well, everything's going back to normal. Everything's being rebuilt by time itself. Huh. So everything that was destroyed just came back to normal, I guess. I have no clue what's happening. 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the peak play of Final Fantasy XIII. This should give me ample time to decide if I want to do a playthrough of this. But since Final Fantasy games are usually very long, I might just kind of drop it and I'll find out. If you guys don't see a playthrough of this, then that's your answer. <laughs> so. I really enjoyed this game. It reminds me of the first one, uh, Final Fantasy XIII, and um, it looks like they added a lot more complex things to it as well, um, keeping you in the action with quick time events, which is actually, a lot of people would say is a bad addition, but I actually think it's really nice. It keeps you on your toes instead of just mashing buttons playing the uh, auto battle. So, yeah, I don't mind that. And um, uh, see what they're showing you right now, I was not able to touch on yet. So I'm kind of wondering what that is as well. Exploration looks pretty the same as the first game. Um, oh, that's something new as well. Get to throw the little guy. Oh, he collects stuff for you, so looks like you can interact with the... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Popo? Oh. <laughs> Don't really know. Hey, you can have a uh, chocobo on your team. Uh, now I'm in trouble. I'm gonna be spending hours playing with a chocobo. Yeah, combat's practically the same too with the paradigm shifts. Looks like you have to find all your and uh, like all your enemies' things. Oh no! Oh no! There's gambling. <laughs> chocobo racing. Blue chocobos? Red chocobos? Gray chocobos? What the heck's going on? Oh no. Oh man, you get a lot. Different type of puzzles. Oh, it looks like those are ma matching puzzles. Interesting. What the heck? Oh, she screwed herself. Oh, no, you didn't. Looks like the puzzles get a little bit more complex. Ah, oh, Seath? Seath's come back. Oh no, that gets more complex too. Ah, oh, multiple parts of that? Ah oh, no! Now that just hurts my brain. So you want to destroy everything. Oblivion is the face. You're upside down or am I upside down? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're gonna play with time a lot. Uh, what's this? New opponents will be continued. Uh, downloadable content. That is confirmed. So yeah. If you haven't watched this whole entire thing and you want to know if there's going to be downloadable content or if you didn't look at any other news sites, downloadable content adds new enemies and all the other stuff. So once you beat the game, I guess if you're bored with fighting the uh, same old enemy, looks like they're going to add more stuff for you guys. And there is the release dates. So yeah. Looks like a couple people got the game early because it comes out January 31st over here in North America. So there are some people that have it early and they are broadcasting it on GTV. <laughs> uh, they most likely have permission. And uh, of course, Europe gets it a little bit later. You know who got it really early? Or I think has, has it early is uh, Japan. Because this is Japan's game. Okay, guys, I will leave it off here, and I will see you guys in another peak play or another edition of a playthrough. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.